everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of IoT in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to learn about Arduino variables as well as constants. So let's first see what are these variables with respect to Arduino. Okay. So the variables are defined as the place to store the data or values. So it consists of a name, a value, and the type. Okay. So the variables can belong to any type of uh, data type such as in floor character and etc okay so whatever the data type may be the variable can get used to it okay so if you consider a small example int pin is equal to 8 okay so in this particular whole construction int is the data type pin is the name of the variable we can give any kind of uh, name okay and 8 is the value assigned to it now here, the next example, what we are taking is int LED pin is equal to 8. Okay. Now, here, the value 8 is having a variable name called LED pin. Okay. So, if we can refer the declared variable further in the program or code, we can use it wherever we want. Okay. So, for example, pin mode, we have taken LED pin comma output. Okay. Now, what is this LED pin? Actually, this LED pin is a variable which is has been assigned a value called 8. So, when we write an instruction like pin mode LED comma output, the LED pin indirectly indicates it is a value of 8. So, pin number 8 is considered as the output. Okay. Now, what are the advantages of variables? Let us see. So, there are so many advantages of variables. We can use a variable many times in a program. So throughout the program, wherever we want, we can use that particular variables. Okay. So these variables can represent integers, strings, characters, as well as so many things. Okay. So the main benefit of using a variable is every time instead of using a particular number or the integers, okay, or these things. Okay. So we can have a name which can be increases the flexibility of the program okay so we can easily modify the variables as well whenever we require suppose i want to change the pin number instead of uh, changing all the variables name for the same variable name we can assign the whatever the pin number we want okay so we can specify the name for a variable it can be anything any name we can give so green pin blue pin red pin or uh, some led or some other uh, uh, name or anything okay so it's very much easy and important as well so coming to the variable scope so it means how many ways these variables are declared okay so in the Arduino, there are two ways the variables are declared one is local variables another one is global variables okay now coming to the local variables the local variables are declared within the function as the name indicates local, it is declared within the function. If you see the program over here, okay, so where these particular variables are there here. So int x equal to 3, int b equal to 4, int sum equal to 0, okay. So int are the data types, x, b and sum are the variables, 3, 4 and 0 are the values assigned to them, okay. So where these are uh, declared, these are declared within the loop, okay. So, as these are declared within the loop, this is considered as the local variable, okay. So, it is only used for that particular frame structure, okay, which are locally uh, declared. Now, coming to the global variables, these global variables can be accessed anywhere in the program, okay. So, let's see what is this global variables. So, these global variables are declared outside the setup as well as loop function. So, we'll see int led pin is equal to 8 okay so void setup and void loop is written as this okay so where this variable is there this variable in name led pin with a data type integer has been assigned a value called 8 where this is this is outside the setup and outside the loop so this particular uh, variable which has been assigned a value of 8 is as it is outside the loop as well as outside the setup it is considered as global variable which is globally uh, declared for the whole program okay see now coming to the constants let's see 
what are these constants okay so the constants in an arduino are defined as the predefined expressions so it is uh, very much it makes the code very much easy to read okay so the constants in the arduino are defined as the logic level constants as well as pin level constants and many more we are going to see one by one now let's see the logic level constants okay so if you see the logic level constant it may be true or false and each and every pin in a present present in the arduino can be either true or false okay so the true indicates logic one or logic high false indicates logic zero or logic low okay so coming to the pin level constants the digital pin can take two values as i've already said uh, the, it may be high or low okay so in arduino the pin is configured as an input pin or an output pin with the function called pin mode we have already seen it okay so if the pins which are allotted are using it for uh, some input for the arduino it is considered as the pin mode uh, with some pin number as an input or output okay if it is considered as the output we will be mentioning it in the pin mode function and we are making uh that particular pin as a high or low with the digital write function okay now what happens when a particular pins become high or what happens when a particular pin become low we are going to see see mostly the boards will be of two types which will be having uh one 5 volt supply as well as 3 volt supply okay suppose uh, i mean 3.3 volts or 3 volt supply okay so suppose let us say in some boards which are operated with respect to 5 volts okay suppose the pin configured is high or logic 1 okay that means the 5 volt supply is present at that particular pin okay suppose uh, if the pins are operating with the 3.3 volts or 3 volts okay so for a logic high it will be showing almost around 3 volts to 3.3 volts uh, at that particular pin coming to the low okay in both the cases mostly uh whether it's and configured at the 5 volts or 3.3 volts mostly okay if the logic is configured as low it will be set as 0 volts only okay so almost it will be almost less than 1 volt or 1.5 volts at any of the voltage configuration now next see one more uh, uh let's see the another uh, constant that is inbuilt okay so it is inbuilt uh, constant which we are considering it as led underscore built in constant okay so this particular variable okay is already built in okay so we can't change it or alter it okay so this particular led built in constant has an inbuilt led connected in series with the resistor okay so most of the led uh, arduino boards will be having this particular led built in uh, uh, constant uh, connected to pin number 13 okay so blindly we can say if anywhere the led built in is used that means we are using the pin number 13 okay so if you see the constant keyword the name constant represent constant const const represents the constant keyword uh it modifies the behavior of the variables in our program okay so mostly it will be an like an uh, uh variable which has in the form of read only okay so if you see over here const int a is equal to 2 okay so const is nothing but the constant okay with a data type integer with a variable a is equal to assigned to a number called 2 okay next comes in the constants hash defined okay so hash defined is in the arduino is used to give a name to a constant value okay suppose it is framed in such a way that hash defined space name of the constant value okay um, so hash defined space name of the constant can be let us say led pin and the value can be 12 okay now what is what happened here this particular whole constant will be having hash defined led pin which is considered as the name of the constant with a particular value 12